God is not a jack-in-a-box, the 15th piece of God's purple puzzle tree. The Israelites love their new home, that wonderful land of Canaan, with olive trees and juicy grapes and shining streams of water. But then some enemies came crawling over the hills, killing cows, stealing boys, and taking all the food. The foes were a very funny kind of long-legged, knock-kneed Philistines. They had sharp silver spears, but red, rolling eyes. Tall bronze shields, but hair that stuck out a mile. How they laughed at the Israelites. They laughed at their little spears, and they laughed at their little legs. They laughed at their short swords. And they laughed at everything. Then they started fighting. And Israel sang the song of Joshua, as they often had before. Now Yahweh will win this war for us. Hurrah! Hurrah! Now Yahweh will win this war for us. Hurrah! Hurrah! Now Yahweh will win this war for us. He'll fight our foes and break their foes. And we will win wherever Yahweh goes. But this time, it didn't work. The Israelites didn't win. For they didn't trust their God the way that Joshua had. Then some men said, Ole, let's take the ark away. If we take the ark to war, God will have to fight for sure to save his precious box. Yes, the ark was a box, as big as a trunk, covered all over with gold, as bright as you've ever seen. On the top, there was a throne where God would come and speak to his high priests. On the sides were cherubim, like two enormous lions with fiery golden wings. In that box were two stone tablets that God once gave to Moses on top of old Mount Sinai. Then old cross-eyed Eli, the great high priest of God, told the men how wrong it was to take God's ark to war. Our God is not a jack-in-a-box who jumps when you wind him up. The ark is not like Aladdin's lamp or a silly rabbit's foot. But the foolish men of Israel took the ark from that high priest and made up a funny song from the words of cross-eyed Eli. Our God is not a jack in a box who pops and stops and stops and pops. You cannot wind him like a clock until he stops and pops and stops and pops and stops and pops and stops and pops. Our God is not a Latin slap that gives you every wish you wish. You cannot swish him with a clock to swish a wish and wish a swish. Our God is not locked up in his box and blind to all your silly sin. You cannot take him out to war to win and sin and sin and win and win and sin and sin and win and win. In the fierce and filthy fight that day, the Philistines captured the ark and killed the men of Israel like weak, woozy flies. They took the ark inside their temple to their dopey god called Dagon. He was staring at the ground with dreamy orange eyes and dirty, long, green teeth. Next morning, all the priests came in to worship Dagon, but they found him on the ground. His hands were broken, his head was broken, his long green teeth were broken, and his orange eyes were spinning in the dirt. Then someone screamed, the plague! I've been bitten by a rat. I'm breaking out with boils, and very soon I'll die. The ark, the ark, the people yelled. That jumpy jack-in-a-box, that's the cause of all this trouble. Send it off to another town. Get rid of it on the double. But in the next town, the very same thing happened. The rats got worse, and the boils got worse. At last, the long-legged Philistines figured out a plan. The priests of Dobie Dagon 
told them what to do. <laughs> it seems the God of Israel, this mighty Jack in a box, likes to send us rats and boils. So let us make him happy. <laughs> we'll take some gold and melt it down and make five golden rats. We'll take some gold and melt it down and make five golden boils. <laughs> what do you think of that? We'll put them all inside the box and put it on a cart pulled by two young cows. The calves of those two cows will be locked up in a shed bellowing for their milk. Now, if the cows go off to Israel and take the box back home, we'll know it was their nasty god who sent these rats and boils. But if the cows come right back here to find their bellowing calves, we'll know that all this trouble was nothing else but chance. Which way do you think the cows went when the ark was in their cart? When the Israelites saw that cart coming, they leaped and danced for joy. They killed those cows and held a mighty feast for God, who sent his ark back home. It seems they learned a lesson, too, about their mighty God, and sang a song that's true. Our God is not a jack in a box, but just as free as he can be, and you can learn what he is like from his great purple puzzle tree. Oh, it's so true. God is not a jack-in-the-box. Boys and girls, this is a retelling of a true story from the Bible in the book of 1 Samuel, chapters 4 through 7. Don't forget to check out more of the Purple Puzzle Tree series on my playlist on my channel. Thanks for watching.